Hi everyone, George here, and I'm in Hamburg, Germany. And this is one of the best aquascaping specialist stores in Germany. It's called Garden House, which translates to Shrimp House. And I thought while I was in the area, I'll do a quick store tour for you all. So I really hope you enjoy it, guys. Give me a thumbs up if you do. And let's check out all the scapes, all the products, an amazing store. Get this beautiful site. turn to the right and we have an amazing plant holding facility all tissue culture we've got a mixture of the Tropico 1-2 grows and then Danile in vitro as well and then they've even got the ADA cups as well down the bottom and the idea with this is they keep the temperature around 15 to 17 degrees Celsius and this keeps the plants uh, as fresh as long as possible. In fact, there's a temperature down there, 16 degrees Celsius. Now, I've got behind the scenes access. So this is where they actually keep their shrimp. So Gondolin House is a very much a nano aquarium specialist in terms of what the dry goods they stock but they also stock a huge range of shrimp from the caridina, the bee shrimp species, some neocaridinas as well, and then there's some other oddball shrimp. And they're just absolutely loads of them. And they have every tank. Check out these babies up here. Too many to show you, I'll be here all day. Uh, but this is their kind of main business and they, they sell loads of aquascaping products as well. I'll show you those later. I wonder if this is a huge shrimp over here. Let's see if we can see him. Look at this guy. See if we can get a better view. There he is. He is massive. I don't know if you can get an idea of how big this guy is. Put my finger near him. Look at the size of his claws. So here we've got the Neo Caridina, the classic kind of cherry shrimp that most people know and love. These are the Bloody Marys. Really high quality. You can see some of the babies there. And got some orange. Secure is by the look of it. Some more red cherries, carbon really, blue jellies down here. I'm not sure what species this is. Awesome. There's a leaf litter. It's going to make the pH really low. There's a ton of acids. And these guys were amongst the first to breed, cross breed, the tiger shrimp and the bee shrimp. They call them the Thai bee shrimp or the sunny shrimp. And they actually breed these themselves here. Beautiful. Most of the shrimp are actually. Um, bred by local breeders in Germany and these are just sort of holding tanks but it's a, it's a great facility. Uh, do snails as well. So we've got the Silhouese snails here. 
a bit different. And then the uh, near right snails is uh, absolutely great for cleaning algae. Check out how beautiful the shells are on these. Amazing. Absolutely hundreds of them. Look at these, these are all the caradinas, beautiful blue. Blue bolt Taiwan bees. Taiwan bee red bolt here. Oh, this is beautiful. Look at these. There's a little baby there. Check out, so cute. So, probably the biggest selection of shrimp that I've ever seen. Absolutely outstanding. So the guys, they keep all the shrimp in reverse osmosis and then they add a special remineralizing powder, which they actually uh, sell themselves. They've got their own brand of powder called Salty Shrimp. I'll show you that later. So these guys are really are at the top of their game in terms of uh, the shrimp supplying. So let's have a look at the scapes in more detail. This is a 60p, the classic 60 by 36 tall by 30 front to back or two feet by 14 inches tall by 12 inches front to back. Gives us about 15 US gallons or 60 litres or so. The vast majority of the plant here is the hydrocotyl tripartita. Lovely root composition there. Quite a steep slope to give this sense of depth. Looks really nice. And this is co-owner Carsten. Say hello, Carsten. Hi, guys. So Carsten is owner with his brother Frank. And these guys are so busy. And Carsten was almost apologising for the sort of... The scapes aren't looking their best, he says. I mean, they still look amazing to me, and I'm sure they do to the viewers. Um, but the, the shop is so busy. They're a little bit understaffed at the moment. So the aquascapes aren't quite up to cast and standard. Is that fair to say? Yes, Mary. <laughs> I was teached by Mr. Amano himself, so... <laughs> so you are actually trained by Amano in yes. Japan? Yes. Wow, I didn't know that. You didn't know that? No. That's awesome. So you're one of the old school guys then? I am. Yeah. <laughs> with Adam. With, with Adam Pascella. Yes. Awesome. Yeah, I was with him a couple of weeks ago. Mm. Yeah. So we've got a trio of 60Ps here, all very different styles. This is my favourite with the Java Fern out of these three. Good old Java Fern, can't beat it. Cosmetic sand foreground, beautiful driftwood. So Microsorum, try, uh, just a regular Java Fern there. And then we've got some Bulbitis on the left. And then, I'm not sure what stone this is, but very striking. And then if we come over to the other side, here we've got, this is a 90p by the look of it. So 90 centimeters by 45 by 45 or three foot by 18 inches by 18 inches. Gives us about 50 US gallons or 200 liters. This is lit with the ADA Sailor RGB, which is arguably one of the best lights on the market for aquascaping. I say arguably, everyone's got their own opinions, but I think the colours just look so great from these. Beautiful Iwagumi layout here, using the Frodo stone with Monte Carlo and Hemianthus cuba, kind of growing in between the stones, looks really effective. Lovely use of different textures, different size of pebbles and stones to create its really kind of naturalistic appearance, absolutely love this. Running the ADA Superjet filters, Very nice. And here we have a very posh way to keep your fertilizers. This is a ADA 120p. 
In fact, it's not ADA Tank, this is their own brand. So the shop also produces their own or have their own brand of aquariums, glass, carton. Very nice quality, very similar to ADA, low eye end, obviously rimless as well. And this is lit with the old school uh, ADA metal halides. So a very much of a green rendition. Not so great at bringing out the reds compared to the... Not so good at bringing out the reds compared to the RGB. You can see the uh, colour rendition is much warmer, much greener. This is one of my favourite scapes here in the store. Another ADA 90P, really nice. Kind of two island concept with a path running between, which looks really effective. Love this kind of style. Uh, loads of crypts. Always a big fan of crypts, as most of you know. Mosses, Book of Philandres, really kind of my style, this. Uh, it looks really good from above as well. Again, this is running the ADA Solar RGB, and you can see there in the centre of the screen the reflection of those LEDs. And you can compare them to the halide, you really get a sense of how different they are. So, beautiful scape. Quite a nice low maintenance aquascape because of the slow growing plants. You can see some beautiful shrimp there. Galaxy Rasboras, Celestial Pearl Danios. Beautiful little fish. Unfortunately, I'm just getting quite a lot of reflections here. Let's get up close to the glass. See some shrimp there. See if we can get closer to the fish. There he is. Beautiful. Look at the colours. Never seen such red on a celestial pearl down here before. Testament to the health of the fish and also the lighting. Okay, well, big escape here in the store. This is a six foot by two foot by two foot, 180 centimetres by 60 by 60, lit with three ADA solar ones by the look of it, the halide again. Got this really nice backlit effect, which looks beautiful. Look, this is stunning, isn't it? If you look up close, it's a little bit worse for wear. Some of the plants are struggling a bit, but from a distance, it looks absolutely magnificent. Absolutely love this. I did visit the store when I last came to Hamburg, and um, it's changed a little bit since then, but it's this stunning, the hardscape is amazing. And then if you move over, you can see some more bigger area of the store itself. And then we've got some of the selling tanks where you can actually view the shrimp. So this isn't behind the scenes, obviously, this is actually the customers. You can see the shrimp. So we've got some smaller mano shrimp there. So all the livestock is especially designed for nano tanks, obviously lots of shrimp. They do sell some small fish as well. Yeah, we've got some of those celestial pearl danios. The difference in the colour compared to in the aquascape. Oh, there's another fish, not sure what that is. Looks like it's a car no touch on maybe, but you can in the back you can see the celestials maybe. <clears throat> but moss balls, these are really popular in shrimp tanks because of the surface area and they graze them for biofilm, etc. Here we've got some orange relies, these are beautiful. It's so great to see another aquascaping specialist store. Um, someone that really focuses on the shrimp, which is really good to see. I do love my shrimp and when I come to stores like this, it really makes me want to set up a, a shrimp only tank. I think one of the great things about setting up a really small tank is that it really focuses you to get really close to the aquascape and you notice the little, little details that you wouldn't necessarily notice in a larger aquascape. You know, you end up with your face really up close to the to the glass and checking out those shrimp as close as you can get. 
This is interesting. This almost looks like it's been escaped. Amazing. So, big store. And I've not even shown you the warehouse section yet. So, more. Look at this down here. Amazing. The wood's actually coated in algae, but it looks amazing. It looks like moss. <laughs> Oh, I've got some beautiful caradina. So these are pure red bee, pure red line shrimp. These are really high end. I used to, used, used to breed these myself, fun fact for you, when I was in the Air Force. I used to have a 60 centimetre tank in my office. I used to breed these and sell them. Not many people know that. All uh, feeding off the biofilm of the sponge filter there. So there's too many tanks to show you individually, but uh, just to, oh, you, as you can tell, they're just the quality of the shrimp. All the tanks are really well maintained. Look at these black panda shrimp, beautiful specimens. So, there's some more sort of dry goods here. So, they stock the range of fertilizers by Aqua Rebel. And these are the remineralizing powders that I talked about. So Sulawesi, so if you're keeping Sulawesi livestock, it will make the pH hard, but with a, it'll make the pH high, but with a low level of hardness, which is quite unique. So you need to use reverse osmosis water and then add this special powder to get exactly the right water chemistry for your chosen livestock. So do a complete range of remineralizing powders for every type of invertebrate. And they, this is their own brand as well. And they do all sorts of other shrimp additives, bacterias, foods. They actually produce their own shrimp food as well, which I didn't realise until earlier. So uh, they even got their own uh, soil, so their own branded soil, which is perfect for shrimps. It doesn't have it does have some nutrients for for the plants, but it doesn't give you the big ammonia spike that you can get with the ADA Aquasoil Amazonia. So all of the ADA products here and their beautiful packagings. Uh, got a little chill out area here for seating. Some more beautiful display cabinets. Let's take a look at the hardscape. Really get a sense of the size, guys, of the store. Amazing. They even got like a giant, giant iPad kind of device where you can order. You can go on the website and and order your products actually in the store and pick them up there and then. How cool is that? Uh, loads of hardscape. More rocks than you can think of. <laughs> uh, we've got a giant sandpit area for practicing your dry scapes. Love these. Any regular viewers to my channel will know how I talk about these and, and say that every retailer should have, should have one in their store. There's a beautiful wood. And then a sneak preview into their warehouse section. So they have their own branded aquariums, some low iron glass aquariums, different sizes. Check out all of the spare parts, different products. They stock all the major brands, JBL, Denale, Eheim, all the classic German brands that we all know and love. Here we've got a worker, say hello. You need some of what? <laughs> Do you make that yourself? Yeah. That's cool, look, look at that. Prices. Let me just show you, 10 euros. Yeah. That is a bargain. Uh, absolutely fact. That's amazing. Look at that. So it will sink straight away. Perfect. Perfect bonsai scape. Thank you very much. Yeah. Welcome. So it's just absolutely <laughs> overwhelming how many products these guys have got. So it's on a, like an industrial estate. They've got a lot of the land to themselves. Give us a wave. Hi. <laughs> so, 
obviously I'm not going to go through every product because it'll take too long but you can get a sense of the scale of this place 90% of their business is online super busy and they've just walked around to where we started Thank you.